Are you thinking about your next vacation and wondering what the best travel camera gear is? Well, in this video, I'll show you what camera gear I keep in my bag, as well as I'll show you which camera I would pick if I was only taking one on holidays. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer. And if you are new to this channel, we bring you videos on travel, exploring, and discovery. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I think is the best travel camera gear and what I keep in my bag. We're not gonna be talking about the biggest and baddest cameras out there because there's always something bigger and better. We're gonna be talking about compact cameras that are easy to travel with, cameras that range from about $350 to $600. We'll talk about some gear, different bags, cases, accessories that you might wanna pick up for yourself. And all of this stuff you'll find links to below in the description if you wanna check them out for yourself. So let's start out with the bags that I use, then we'll move into cameras, accessories, and cases. And then I'll let you know what the one camera is that I would bring if I was only bringing one camera with when I travel. Now, the bags that I use, this is a Gregory backpack, and the cool thing you'll notice about it is there aren't any zippers on it. So the zippers are all on the back side. There's one pocket here where you can slide stuff into, but this one actually works more like a suitcase where when you unzip it, it's kind of opens up like a suitcase and there's a pocket here and you can put all your camera cases and different things in here. I don't actually use camera bags per se. I use a regular backpack with cases inside it. That's how I travel. So that would be um, my favorite backpack that I use. Now I also have this second backpack and this is what I use for day trips when I'm out and about. So if we go on an excursion, something like that, I always have this second backpack and if I buy too much, I can just um, load it full of stuff and bring this one along with. So it zips up nice and small and it's just a thin nylon backpack and these are really inexpensive on Amazon and they unfold and they look just like that. These are the Gonex nylon backpacks. They're a great option to carry your stuff in. Nice and light, easy to bring with. All right, so it's time to move into cameras that I bring when I travel and I bring three cameras on my trips. And the first one, you probably bring the same camera is your cell phone camera. Whether you have an iPhone or an Android, this is a Samsung phone. They're great for just having in your pocket and pulling out when you wanna take that quick picture or selfie. So don't forget your cell phone camera when you travel and you probably don't it's probably glued to you but that would be the first camera that you don't want to forget to bring all right so the second camera i always bring on my trips is a small mirrorless camera now this is a canon m6 but there's other canon cameras or sony cameras like the m50 is a great option and this camera or that one would be kind of in that five to six hundred dollar range um, you can get into the m6 mark ii which is over a thousand dollars or you can get into some of the sony cameras the a5100 the a6000 you're gonna be right in that range of kind of $600 and under, and they're great options for travel. I've actually added on a zoom lens to this camera, and that's great for, like last summer we went to Alaska and we were filming the glaciers and watching them, them breaking off, and this lens did a great job for that, and here's what that looked like. And it was absolutely amazing to see. So you can see there's a huge difference from when we're zoomed in to where we were actually standing. This zoom lens is an 18 to 150 millimeter Canon EFM lens. And the cool thing about these cameras is the lens is removable. So I can just pull that off and put on a different lens. So the lens that I'm actually filming on right now is the Canon kit lens. It's a 15 to 45 millimeter lens that typically comes with the camera. And that's a great option for you as well. So you have both of these, it's quite versatile. So I'll put that back on. The other couple of things that we like with these cameras is I like having these Joby Gorilla Pods so I can wrap them around things that'll hold my camera. These tripods, these big ones, are way too big to bring when you travel. So I like these. Andrea and I like to vlog, so we'll just put this on a table or desk, and we can talk right to the camera. It's perfectly steady, really easy to use. The other thing, this camera, the M6 or the M50 or the M6 Mark II, have inputs for your microphone. So if you do a lot of talking to the camera, you can add a microphone to the camera on these cameras as well. So that would be the second camera that I always bring when I travel. All right, so the third camera I always bring when I travel is my GoPro. This is a GoPro Hero 8 Black, and these are absolutely amazing. They're tiny. It's already got the handle on it, an extension handle. That's the shorty handle that actually turns into a tripod. And put that on the table, we can vlog. Absolutely amazing. It's fully waterproof, so I can take it underwater 
as it is, which is super handy for travel. It's got a hyperlapse. I'll show you that in a moment. It takes great photos. It takes great video. It's got excellent stabilization. So if you're walking with it, it's not jumping around. Absolutely amazing. I'll show you those features right now. This is what a hyperlapse looks like. With the hyperlapse on, your GoPro takes pictures at a set interval, creating this really cool effect. You can push a button and slow it down to real time. Plus your GoPro is waterproof, so you can dunk it into the lake or into a fountain just like this. The GoPro also has great audio and video. Check out how smooth this is when I go for a walk. All right, so let's move into accessories and we'll start out with our phones. And the first one I wanna talk about, and this one might seem kind of weird to you, is a selfie stick. And these are great if you wanna capture that perfect photo of you and your loved one. And they work wonders and they're pretty inexpensive on Amazon as well. The second accessory for your phone I do wanna talk about is a waterproof case for these. You can grab them on Amazon. They're about $7.50 to $10 and they'll keep your phone dry if you wanna go swimming while you travel. So moving on to our mirrorless camera, some of the accessories you might want. We already talked about a few of them. A microphone, that's a Boya external mic. If you wanna do some vlogging, this has the screen on it. You can do that very easily. A gorilla pod, these are super handy. Now they come in different sizes. This is the 1K, um, they have a 3K, just depending on how much your camera weighs. And the third thing would be a zoom lens. These are super handy. If you're doing trips like we did to Alaska where you wanna take photos of glaciers, different things, make sure you grab a zoom lens for your trip. All right, so accessories for GoPros. They have so many cool accessories for GoPros. I'll show you a couple today. Make sure you grab one of these shorty sticks. They're really great. Again, if you wanna do some vlogging, so easy to do. Batteries, memory cards, all that kind of stuff. But when you get into the cool stuff for GoPro, you can get things like snorkels and masks that have GoPro mounts on them. This is amazing if you're gonna be traveling to a warm climate and doing some snorkeling. You attach your GoPro right there and you can go right under the water because this is fully waterproof. So that's an amazing one. You can get something similar to this on Amazon. They've got chest straps. We use these for go-karting on the Norwegian Joy. Um, we just connect the GoPro there and you can record while you're driving or a lot of attractions don't allow you to hold a camera in your hand. So if it's attached to your body, something like this works great. They also have ones that go on your head. I prefer a chest strap. The other cool thing, these are suction cup mounts for your window and you can use this in a hotel or your car and record out the window without having to hold your GoPro. So those are great as well. Now you can pick up really cool kits on Amazon. This one's only $26 and it comes with chest straps, head straps, wrist straps, all sorts of cool stuff, tripod mounts, and it's only 26 bucks by Neewer. I bought quite a bit of stuff from Neewer and they make a great product. So those would be some of the cool accessories to start you out with using a GoPro. All right, so let's talk camera cases. Now I like to use camera cases inside of a regular backpack rather than a camera backpack. And these are the two I use. This one I use for my GoPro, it's kind of a hard case. And when you open that up, it's got kind of two compartments. There's the main compartment there and you can fold back this lid and you can put cords and different memory cards and stuff back there. These are great and very inexpensive. You can pick those up. And the other one I like to use is this low pro case for my Canon M6. I can fit the lens in there, the zoom lens, as well as the camera with the regular kit lens on it, my charger, everything fits right in there. Super handy and it's all protected while it's inside my backpack. All right, so I promised you I'd tell you which camera I would bring if I could only bring one camera when I travel. So I'm gonna put down my cell phone because I'm probably bringing that anyway. But if I had to knock one off the list, it would be the camera in my cell phone. So now we're down to my Canon mirrorless or my GoPro and the winner is, drum roll please, it is the GoPro. It is such a versatile camera. I can use it underwater, I can use it for vlogging, I can use it on a chest strap, I can use it on a snorkel. It is an amazing camera with great quality. If you do want to add an external mic, GoPro does sell a media mod that you can do that as well. It is a great camera for travel and it is so small and compact, it can fit easily in your pocket. So hope you enjoyed this video on what I think is the best travel camera gear and what I have in my camera bag. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in learning about how to use Google Maps offline, saving you data while you travel, there's a link to that video below 
in the description. If you want to connect with me on social media, you'll find those links there as well. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.